Look out, look out. This was the sight we were greeted with this morning when we woke up. It's kind of startling. Here at the River Forest Marina. Couldn't film it because it was raining like crazy, but this has been a great stop so far. <laughs> and you got, everybody knows who's on the left there. And on the right, somebody wanted by the FBI, probably. Coming up the dock, we're tied up here at the River Forest Marina. And uh, let me tell you, this is a good stop. You check in at the office here. That was the 1893 Sears building. Well, let's go go for a ride. When they get here, they give you a golf cart to go into town. And this is your uh, Sears Roebuck of 1893. Now, Sears Roebuck, you could order tractors. You could order um, a uh, uh, lumber mill. Anything that you can think of, household, business, uh, came from Sears uh, Roebuck, um, you know, farm implements, you name it, it, it was in there. And uh, even in my early life, uh, I can remember uh, Grandma Matson, you know, in the, in the An Immigrant's Tale on YouTube, same grandma. Uh, ordering things from Sears Roebuck in New York and uh, sometimes it'd take a month to arrive or more and, uh, and, that, and I mean I, I can just barely remember it and uh, Bell Haven is another historic town that we just happen to plop into completely unaware of its existence before but uh, it really is uh, something to see. All these old historic homes along the way. Along the waterfront, they got various kedge anchors here and there. Now, a kedge anchor, you take and row that out in the long boats and plop one of those down. And then you'd uh, use ropes to um, haul the ship up to it and that's how they got big ships into shallow water kind of reminds me of uh, Madison Florida that's where the the old 1800s uh, and Green Cove Springs Florida uh, that's where the old riverboat captains had their homes and this is you know very much what they looked like because they were the they were the uh, uh, they got a, a portion of the cargo of what they were carried as a percentage and uh, they were the wealthy people of the time the, the captains were. Alright I've come here and we're gonna drop in on a couple of farm boys and uh, take a look at their menu. Double cheeseburger $2.95 let's see maybe flounder sandwiches Three twenty five. The shrimp dinner for six ninety five. Wahoo four seventy five. Hmm. Chicken buffalo wings. There we go. Uh, Ten wings for five seventy five. Not bad, not bad at all. I like if you're cruising on the water, you probably like me get tired of being uh, told that a seven dollar meal is worth uh, fifty. You know, so this is this is right up the alley. Bacon eggs. From farm boys, I'm gonna kind of wheel around and go through the town here. I was kind of shocked uh, that uh, I picked up a paper when I was in there and uh, this is kind of like the little town I grew up in Claremont, Florida. Uh, I, I didn't even know there were places like this that still existed but we had you know one street downtown 
and it looks very, very similar. That was probably the old hotel right there, but uh, just give you a shot. I'm going to have to bail out here. I got a green light and go down the street and go back to the go back to the marina here I'm taking you and, we'll, and of course every street has these uh, these old homes that's kind of interesting we've seen two boats today but uh, they'll first appear as a little dot coming up the Pungo off the Pamlico and then you can see there are a trawler and in about an hour and uh, so that's what we look like we coming up the yesterday just a little dot and over the next hour they get a little bigger and a little bigger until you can finally figure out what they are